Hello everyone, Shane here from RepairDesk. I hope everyone is doing well. With MobileCentrics recently serializing products, store owners can now easily track warranties, maintain stock levels, and process returns. In this video, we will show you how to add and track a serialized MobileCentrics display with RepairDesk. When you receive your shipment from MobileCentrics, you will notice extra barcodes and serials on the packaging. If you're doing a display replacement, you can peel off this barcode sticker and stick it to the back of the screen so that whenever a customer comes back to you with a broken screen or a defect, you can easily track when you order the part, process their warranty claim, and create an RMA in just a few clicks, as well as use the second barcode for the original broken display and track it when sending in buybacks or sending swaps to MobileCentrix. Now let's get started. Next we will show you how to start using serials with MobileCentrix items as well as inputting serials after creating a goods received note. First log into Repair Desk. Head over to Manage Inventory and click on Mobile Accessories and Parts. From here you can either click on the item ID for the product you want to serialize or search for the item. Also on the repair desk bar you can click on this barcode and scan the SKU of an item and select the item ID in the pop-up window. Now if you would like to serialize these items, click on the stock tab and go down to manage serialized inventory. Please take note, if you do not see this option to manage serialized inventory you may need to go to the price tab and select convert inventory valuation method to serialized inventory and then go back to the stock tab and select yes and click on save item. It's time to enter serials. Click on the create serials to open the pop-up window. Select suppliers mobile centrix, enter the cost and leave the retail empty. Now click on additional information to enter the warranty duration, for example one year. Now click inside the text box underneath the input serial or enter using barcode scanner section. And scan a serial from the package using a USB barcode scanner. Upon scanning, the serials will automatically be added to the text box one by one. Once you've scanned all your serials, hit save to add these serials to repair desk. Now let's see how we add serials after creating a goods received note. Let's head over to the Inventory tab and then Purchase Orders. Here I've already created a purchase order using the Low Stock Report. You could also use the ordering integration with MobileCentrix for a fast order process. If you're not familiar with this integration, there is a link below to the setup video. Once received, you will need to create a goods received note. Click on Confirm. Check your quantities and click on Create Serials. In this field, you can rapidly add the serials. All right from a goods received note. Fast and easy. And click Save. Now with checking in a client and replacing the display, make sure you select the serial information and correct item matching the serial you selected. So RepairDesk can help keep up with warranty claims and RMAs. We will quickly see what that looks like. Navigate to point of sale and select the item that you've already serialized. You can see there is now a select serial option. Select and choose a serial and then click save and finish out your ticket. Let's take a look at the actual ticket. Navigate to the repair tab, then manage tickets and select the ticket you just created. Navigate down to the ticket items and you can see and verify the serial that was selected. Please note, if you need to change the serial, you will have to edit the ticket and delete the ticket item. Add it back and select a different serial. I'm gonna go ahead and check out the ticket we've been looking at so I can actually show you the warranty claim function. and then click on warranty claim. 
Next, search for your client so you load the repair details. And if the warranty has not expired, click on Part Warranty Claim and set the ticket to In Progress or your desired status. Now, if you have the device open and you want to create a warranty claim, go to the Point of Sale tab and click on Warranty Claim and select the field Part Serial. Scan your barcode on the back of the display. Now you can also check the warranty status as well as select part warranty claim and set your desired status again. Next we are going to click on warranty claim and input reasons for replacement. Check the box if you want to add the part to an RMA for tracking and select status and click save. Now you have the option to print an RMA label or view the RMA. Here we will print a label and apply it to the screen. You have a choice to use the RepairDesk RMA label or just the Mobile Centrix barcode alone. Quickly, I will show you how to search for the RMA using both barcodes. Navigate to Inventory and then RMA. Then click on the Search filter. From this keyword field, you can search the RMA label or the Mobile Centrix barcode from this field. Please take note, if your RMA label is not scanning, please go to the Dymo Label Writer 450 Advanced Settings and change the print quality to 300 by 600 dots per inch and under Features, change the print quality to barcodes and graphics. It's a simple and straightforward process that brings a ton of help to your repair store when tracking parts, processing warranty claims, and creating RMAs. And it's all done easily in RepairDesk. If you own a cell phone or a computer repair shop and are looking for a high quality point of sale software to keep track of repair jobs and stay on top of inventory, look no further. Sign up for RepairDesk for free. Or if you have any questions, please feel free to contact the RepairDesk team at support at RepairDesk.co. Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching the video.